the eagles do not put their nests in the easiest places to get to. Today we met up at the boat docks and boated 25 minutes in here. Had a hike up a pretty steep incline out to above the nest site and then rigged up, repelled into the nest, secured those nestlings, 43.5. We want to make sure they're doing well, make sure they don't have problems with parasites in the nest. It gives us a chance to remove fishing line and fishing hooks from the nest if they've come in with the fish that's been brought in. It lets us know if things are going well with them. The band number is going to be 80 over C. But the other real big reason that we're going into these nests is to put that, that blue band on it. We're able to track these birds for the rest of their lives, gives us a lifetime of information. We've banded hundreds of these over the years. Clear. Right at 3.0 kilograms. In every, any one given year, we usually band anywhere from 25 to 35 uh, baby eagles a year. The real big importance is Arizona does have a relatively small and, and relatively isolated population. Uh, we've spent a lot of work bringing this population up from 25 nests in, in uh, the late 1970s to the 104 nests that we have, have now. And we don't want to see that backslide at this point. You know, the population's doing good, it's responding to, to the management we have in place. And so we, we want to make sure this population is a robust and stable as possible. Mom and dad, are they okay with all this? Oh, they're kind of mad at me right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, mom and dad, uh, they, they'll watch us put the nestlings back in the nest. They'll probably fly around, get excited that they've got their nestlings in the nest again. Uh, and then once we boat out of here, they'll, they'll go back to taking care of them like normal.